But if we don't win this election, Israel, in my opinion, within a period of two to three years, will cease to exist. It's going to be wiped out. That's what's going to happen. It's a tough thing to say. But what difference does it make from my standpoint? I have to tell you the truth. And maybe you'll be energized, because there's no way that I should be getting 40 percent of the vote. I'm the one that's protecting you. These are the people that are going to destroy you. And you, get, you have 60 percent of the Jewish people essentially voting for them. If I do win, Israel will be safe and secure, and we will stop the toxic poison of anti-Semitism from spreading all over America and all over the world. We'll get it stopped. But if I don't win, I believe Israel will be eradicated, and you can't let that happen. And I don't think you will let that happen. So you have to, Rabbi, you have to get everybody together, and you have to get them to vote, because it, it's craziness to say I'm at 40 percent. And when I heard that number today, it just came out today, when I heard that number today, I think it was insulting to our country. It was insulting to Israel. So we have to save Israel. Look, you're here for a reason. We have to save Israel. This is no longer um, games. This is no longer games. This is uh, the saving of Israel. And I'm going to mention it. We're making a big statement in a little while at another conference, also very important. And I'm going to mention it again and again. I believe that Israel will be uh, wiped off the face of the earth if I don't win. And that's a big statement. That's a horrible statement to make. And uh, it's just the way I feel. And a lot of people in this room agree with me. In my opinion, the Jewish people would have a lot to do with a loss if I'm at 40 percent, if I'm at four, think of it, that means 60 percent of voting for Kamala, who in particular is a bad Democrat. The Democrats are bad to Israel, very bad. They'll never change because they have a section of their party now which has become amazingly and quickly very powerful, vote-wise. I mean, Chuck Schumer is a Palestinian. And all across our land, you've seen Jewish Americans harassed and attacked and terrorized by anti-Semites and Hamas sympathizers. I can't believe what we've been witnessing over the last year. Actually, I've watched it in great detail. I've watched it, and I've watched it take place. It's hard to believe. Yet, despite presiding over this explosion of anti-Semitism, Kamala Harris has done absolutely nothing. She has not lifted a single finger to protect you or to protect your children or to even protect you with words. I'm here today to tell the Jewish American community that this ugly tide of anti-Semitic pro-Hamas bigotry and hate will be turned back and crushed starting at noon on January 20th, 2025. Thank you. You know, 15 years ago, Israel was the strongest lobby, if you want to use the word lobby, had the strongest representation of people like this. These are great people, Miriam. But the strongest there was, if you said something about a Jewish person or something about Israel that was bad, you were out of politics. Unless your name was Ted Cruz, he could, he could get through. I think Ted could get through, but maybe not. Maybe even Ted. But it's true. You said something about Israel that was bad. It was like, today, you have to fight. We all have to fight for Israel. I, just never, I, I am so surprised to see it. But we're going to win the fight, so don't worry about it, OK? We'll win the fight. So I say 47 days from now, we're going to defeat Kamala Harris. You have to defeat Kamala Harris. More than any other people on Earth, Israel, I believe, has to defeat her. We're two weeks away from the one-year anniversary of the worst attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust, without question. On October 7th, which would have never happened if I was president, by the way, I have to always preface it by saying it would have never, ever happened. It was a wake-up call for the entire world, and you have to take it that it is a wake-up call. Get smart. Instead, even here in America, Jewish citizens have been forced to endure the worst outbreak of anti-Semitism in many generations. Presiding over this explosion of anti-Semitism, Kamala Harris has done absolutely nothing. She has not lifted a single finger to protect you or to protect your children 
or to even protect you with words with your vote. I will be your defender, your protector, and I will be the best friend Jewish Americans have ever had in the White House. I'm calling on Kamala Harris to officially disavow the support of all Hamas sympathizers, anti-Semites, Israel haters, on college campuses and everywhere else. She's not going to do it. She's going to talk. She's going to talk, talk, talk about nothing, talk about the weather, and Sadly, and I have to say this, and it hurts me to say it, you're going to still vote for Democrats, and it doesn't make sense. I say all the time that any Jewish person that votes for her, especially now, her or the Democrat Party, should have their head examined. <laughs> but if we don't win this election, Israel, in my opinion, within a period of two to three years, will cease to exist. It's going to be wiped out. That's what's going to happen. It's a tough thing to say. But what difference does it make from my standpoint? I have to tell you the truth. And maybe you'll be energized, because there's no way that I should be getting 40 percent of the vote. I'm the one that's protecting you. These are the people that are going to destroy you. And you, get, you have 60 percent of the Jewish people essentially voting for them. If I do win, Israel will be safe and secure, and we will stop the toxic poison of anti-Semitism from spreading all over America and all over the world. We'll get it stopped. 